All right, guys, got a new pickup. This is from, I think, uh, I bought this on eBay. So it doesn't really have an anemic person, but let's get right into it. All right, so I've been trying to experiment with something new because I'm tired of water crystals for my, for my roaches. So I ended up finding chicken waters, if you guys can see. And this company, Carolina Cricket and Roach Water, specifically makes makes waters for them, but they're like styled like chicken waters. Let's go ahead and open it. So this is a plastic tube, and this is a, these are oh this is a bonus sponge. It's kind of cool. So the whole idea is you fill it up with water and the bugs can climb and they can start, this This gets soaked full of water and the bugs can drink on it and they won't die. Same thing with crickets. It's kind of meant for crickets too. So it's kind of cool. It's a little better than I thought. The sponge I've heard, people don't like it because it gets nasty, but other people say they just, just clean it down with, with hot water and maybe some, some natural disinfectant. I think vinegar will do the job, but I think hot water does the best. It's kind of cool. Let me go ahead and put this off the side as you guys you guys can get a good angle. So fill it up with water, the sponge soaks it up, and the bugs the bugs drink it. And this extra sponge right here, so you can replace that. Or we'll replace it while the other one gets cleaned. All right, so this is a different one. This is from Pin and Hatch Farms. This is a different type of water, you guys can see. It's a little bit smaller here than this one. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill it up with little rocks and I'm gonna put up a glass jar here, which I, I wanted more a glass jar compared to this one, but I like how this one is really well made. But the glass jar is supposed to squeeze in here and give it a nice tight fit and it, it won't spill out. Let me show you guys. All right, here I have one of these glass ball jars, mason jars, and you get it and you just, squeeze it on there nice and tight. And there's like little slit, slits here. There's three of them. And the water goes through there. And it's pretty much it. It's very easy to clean. I think it'll be easier to clean this one because the, because of the, the wide mouth. But that's kind of what I'm experimenting with right now. Just gonna try these out for my bugs. That's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Something different. I've been trying to experiment things because, I'm, again, I'm tired of using water crystals. They're inconvenient, they're hard to store, and then if you don't mix them right, they come out look, looking all weird and the texture's weird. So I'm going to give these a go. Hopefully they work out. All right, so we're going to go fill these up, and we're going to go try them out on the bug enclosures. Hopefully they like them. I'm going to give it a couple of days and see. Hopefully none of them drown. I don't think any, any of them will drown here. It would be weird if they drown because I'm going to put little rocks in here. Oops. Little rocks in here, that way they can they can walk around. It'll be easy for them to walk around. All right, guys, we're outside now, and I set up the waters for these guys. Let me go over this one first. You see at the bottom. Let me see if you guys can focus. All right, so at the bottom, I put rocks in there. That way they can climb on the rocks and they won't drown. This one has been in there for like a day or two. So trying it out, I have seen a couple of them, like back there you guys can see they're already they already kind of know already how to use it they go around the edge they climb it and drink water so that one that I'm pretty sure they're already used to and I like it I think I think I like this one better the only thing that sucks is a little tray at the bottom since it's kind of hard for them to put it's kind of hard for me to put more rocks in there that way they can climb it so they can get access to more water I wish the dish was a little bit wider and let's go on to the next one so this one, I just installed it right now. If you guys can get a little closer view, it's kind of hard to tell. But the water has already been soaked up into the sponge. And I, for both of them, I scraped the edges with sandpaper. That way they can climb it easier. So this one, I haven't seen any of them come out yet. But again, I just installed it, so we won't be able to tell. But I wanted to show you guys see the two, two, the two different types of waters I bought online. Hopefully... I have good hopes for this one and the other one, even though for, I kind of like the other one too, but I just like this one a little bit more because it's, it's uh, glass and it's interchangeable. 
but still pros and cons. They each are good for one thing, but I'll test them out. Um, hopefully I can get rid of the 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 water crystals, which I don't like because they consume them and then it goes in them, and you know that goes to your pet. So just trying new things out, and I wanted to show you guys. Okay, just a little quick update. I wanted to show you guys. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.